Hello stampers! It's Elizabeth from StampScrapMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. And what day is it? It is Friday, January 15th. And guess what arrived? You got it folks! Paper pumpkin! So I'm just taking a quick break and I'm going to share with you what's inside of the box. All the goodness that's inside. So the kit this month is called Sending Hearts or Healing Hearts. So hold on one second. Sending Hearts. It's called Sending Hearts. And I'm excited. It's like getting a prize every month. So let's get overhead and see all the goodness that's in the box. So this is the box. Ooh, okay. Um, this is next month's is a little paper pumpkin add-on. So it's, oh no, sorry, paper pumpkin add-on available January 1st while supplies last. From heaps of, from heaps of heart-shaped elements to paper pieces in red and pink, your Sending Hearts paper pumpkin kit is just what you need to create cards for Valentine's Day anniversaries and every celebration of love in between. But if you'd like to keep crafting and send a little more love, you can purchase the Little Love Boxes add-on to complement your kit. With printed mini boxes, decorative die cuts, and the leftover pieces from the month, this month's kit, you can create treat packaging boxes, cards, and more. So in Canada, it is $11 and it includes 20 printed mini boxes and 24 decorative die cut labels. So these are the boxes and the labels, etc. Actually, it's a pretty good deal, $11 in Canada. So that's the add-on for this kit. I'm really behind the eight ball on this one, folks. Didn't realize that. So let's see. Oh, I see hearts. I always have a hard time getting it out of the uh, paper pumpkin box. Okay, so scissors again. Contains supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes. They look like they're full size cards, which is always nice. Alrighty. Oh, cute. Love you and sending love your way. Oh, so nice. Okay, so let's get our, your kit includes the Sending Hearts Photopolymer Stamp Set, the Poppy Parade Classic Stamp and Spot, printed card bases, printed envelopes, printed die cut cuts and labels, printed foil die cuts, resin hearts, dimensionals, and adhesive dots. Um, and uh, here's some alternate projects. This is really super cute. Okay. And here's the directions. It usually tells you, oh, here we go. Coordinating colors are basic black, gold foil, petal pink, poppy parade, smoky slate, and white. Okay, folks, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've got our glue dots, our dimensionals, our hearts, our petal pink hearts, enamel hearts. Uh, we've got the eight nice, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, isn't it? Really nice red envelopes. Ooh. Four card bases uh, in this pattern. And that's the inside. And then four card bases in this pattern. And that's the other side. There's a petal pink and poppy parade. Die cut labels. There's six of those. Oh, yep, yeah, six. Um, we've got four love, uh, eight of the small um, die cuts, and then to four of the of these, I'll actually poke one out because they're kind of hard to see of that style. So there's four of them. They're kind of like back to back. And then same with these, there's four of them, but on a smaller scale. There we go. And 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute, the little let letter box. And there's four of those. I love these. I don't know if you can see, but the, uh, there you go, the uh, flag and the heart and the star and the flower are all a gold foil. So cute. You could actually, oh, um, if you had like a hello stamp, you could like um, put it right there, like on the bottom of the envelope, like hello or something. That's cute. And then you've got four of the heart foil. And again, um, you can see the foil if I turn it around, the foil on the heart. That's cute. And there is your um, Poppy Parade stamp and spot. Your stamp set is um, heart. We'll put it on the back. Oh, that's better. Um, we've got like a heart. We've got X's and O's. Um, we've got Be Mine. Uh, Hi, Valentine. Sending love your way. A, a, another love, a you. And this is like from the snail mail. This is a snail guy with heart behind it. And then a spattering of um, hearts and stars on here. And then last but not least, we have some ribbon. What, oh, what color is this ribbon? The base, oh, it must be black. Oh, it's black. Oh, it's, oh, I like it. It's, it's, it's a thin ribbon. It's really like a thin ribbon. Oh, it's nice. So that is paper pumpkin for January. And I just also want to remind you that <clears throat> um, around the 21st of the month on, on Stampin' Up's Paper Pumpkin Facebook page, so it's facebook.com backslash paper pumpkin by Stampin' Up, they always do a live on alternate projects. And uh, a lot of people will wait until that airs so that they can um, use their uh, kit for, to do alternate projects. So if you're one of those that likes to think outside the box as to what was planned here, um, check out the Facebook page. I like to use them as is because it's a great crafting reason to craft without thinking about it. You can just craft along and create your cards and put them in the mail. So I, that's why I really enjoy Paper Pumpkin. All right, so take care. Thanks for stopping in for this really quick video and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.